Hi Milas, welcome to Miles and Coffee. This is Beverly with another Coffee Talk. So grab your pen and your favorite brew. I hope you'll join me. Every single day I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Okay, today on Miles and Coffee, we are discussing the nine reasons. I will leave the chat in the nine reasons why we love spending our retirement years in Mexico. I just thought that this would be a wonderful opportunity to do a Q&A cheat, if you will, because this is wonderful information that I read and I thought, you know, why not share it? So let's get jump right in. The num number one, these are not, I don't think this is the top reason, but this is one listed, Pueblos Magicos, uh, the magic towns. The town that I live in is a Pueblo Magico. Uh, so it's a magic town simply because of the natural beauty, the cultural richness, the archeological folklore, history, and cuisine and their attention to uh, maintaining the authenticity of the architecture. So that is what draws people to these uh, magical towns. Um, Miguel, uh, San Miguel Allende is one. I'll try to leave a list of the ones below so that you can choose which ones to visit. But uh, Comitán Chiapas is uh, Pueblo Mexico, and that's one reason I love being here. So that's one reason that people come to retire in Mexico. Number two, colonial highlands. For uh, example, people might want to buy their home in familiar places like Guanajuato or San Miguel de Allende because these are colonial highlands in Mexico, named for their uh, mesa, where they're located. All right, so those are things that draw people. Um, there are lesser known cities like Carretero, um, Zacatecas, uh, different places like that, but these are known for the pink stone and just it, it, it's colonial and it's traditional and you're in real Mexico, put it like that. Okay, another reason why people like retiring in Mexico is Mexico City. That is the capital city. Now, need I say more? Okay, so um, put it this way. That is a huge place. Mexico City is huge. I'm from Chicago, and Chicago would pale in comparison. So there's so many things to do. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful, iconic city. Um, but the best thing is that it's the cheapest place in the world because they're frequent... Uh, metro system only costs 25 cents to ride okay but it's that it's priced that way because it is frequented by people that have to get to work every day so keep that in mind another reason that people are drawn to retirement here in Mexico is the archaeological ruins um, that's I'm, I'm not going to spoil the surprise but I told you that in this season there would be some surprises and new content all I'm going to say on that note is stay tuned. I'm going to keep my promise. So I've got some projects in the work. But for example, um, there are various um, archaeological ruins. The Mayan ruins come to mind. Aztec ruins come to, to mind. Because this is the area where those places flourished thousands of years ago, right? And if you want to see the ruins from that, the best place to, to see them is here in Mexico at different places like uh, Veracruz, uh, the Yucatan, and then there's small uh, ruins in Chiapas that you can go and see. And it's worth visiting because it's, uh, it's awe-inspiring and jaw-dropping because it's nature, right? Nothing better than seeing nature. 
Number five, the Zocalos and Jardines, the gardens and the central centers, or what I call central parks. They're called Zocalos, and every town has one. Um, you'll see me walking around Central Park. I'll even try to upload some pictures in the corners so you can see. But the natural beauty is what people take advantage of. And since the, uh, uh, there's a laid back atmosphere, you're encouraged to sit and enjoy nature with a cup of coffee or with your device or just chatting with a friend. And the best thing about that is when you're in nature like that, no one is on their phone. People look at you and they enjoy your company for an hour or two. That is luxurious. That is why I live here for a slower pace, more relaxed, where I've learned how to linger. I had to learn that coming from the states where I rushed all the time. But the Zocalos are beautiful centers that are made for strolling and relaxing with your family and with your friends. And then these wonderful gardens um, that are up kept the natural way uh, by the gardeners who that is, that's their job that they take pride in of making beautiful landscapes for you to sit and enjoy with all of the uh, nature that goes with it, flowers and fauna and shrubs and trees and then the birds. So that is why I look forward to walking every day. Okay, we're on number six of the reasons why people come to Mexico to retire. Long distance buses. <clears throat> Some of these buses, um, you might remember from way back long time ago that are beaten down looking, that, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about business class buses and the way I describe it is uh, you get the experience almost of like being on an airline because these buses have Wi-Fi, they uh, have seats that recline, shades on the window for privacy and for you to take a nap. Um, every other seat, there is some type of uh, screen for you to watch the movie that is playing on the bus. And if you want to sleep, no problem. Um, they also hand you a bottle of water and earphones, just like you would get on an airplane, right? So that you can plug in and either listen to the music or plug in and listen to the movie. So uh, <laughs> gone are the ages where you have to rough it when you're traveling. Here, they make it very convenient for you to go from place to place, town to town, and to sightsee on these beautiful ADO buses, beautiful buses made for traveling. And I'll, again, leave a picture for you to see that. The number seven reason is for courtesy and connection. That's why people come to Mexico to retire. It's just a different atmosphere. People still pass you on the sidewalks and say, buen dia or buenos dias. If it's the afternoon, they'll say buenos tardes and they nod and you answer back and then you know sometimes they'll even ask you how are you you know or it, it, in my case where are you from but that is still a courtesy that has been long past uh, in some parts of the states and it is considered part of the, the tradition here and it, 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 it just it makes you feel welcome that's the best way to put it um, I've, I've often taken to the habit of saying vaya con Dios, go with God. And I've always been well received when I say that. And the other person will say igual. And they'll, they'll do their hands like that, wishing me the same, you know. So I, I can't describe it. You'd have to experience it for yourself. It's just a different uh, type of grace that is ingrained in the culture here. It's part of the culture. Number eight, craftsmanship and resourcefulness. Uh, there are so many cities, including Oaxaca, uh, the Yucatan. Uh, I think you've seen me upload videos where during Easter they were doing the crosses. Um, that is a craft here and some of the um, uh, um, pots that are locally made. The craftsmanship is another reason that people enjoy Mexico because you want to uh, support the local economy and the artisans and be a part of that because it's art, right? They do a beautiful job. Um, you can get handmade purses, jewelry, you name it. 
And then the number nine reason that people retire is the natural beauty. The natural beauty of these places really interact with your spirit. It has an, uh, an impact on your body, okay? Um, I'll give you an example. Uh, some of the uh, places that I go in Central, uh, the reason I like taking my coffee at the outdoor cafe is because I'm just sitting there and just taking a moment to breathe. Um, even here in Chappas, there are tropical jum jungles and um, at the border of Guatemala. And then, of course, there's cenotes, the little lakes that you can go to that still are kind of like almost like hot springs that you can enjoy. It's just this. these are things that are part of nature. Uh, waterfalls, um, volcanoes, you know, you name it. These are things that are worth exploring when you come here, you know. So that's another reason people are drawn to Mexico is there's, it, there's just the natural beauty. When you see me walking every day, that's what I'm absorbing. And it draws you outside so that it's calling to you every day. Um, what are some things that you're looking forward to? Where are you considering retirement? Are you considering retiring in Mexico? Have you retired? Please leave a comment below and see if you agree with these nine reasons that people come to Mexico. Would you add to any of these? I would love to hear your reasons. And if you haven't, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, my friends, thank you for listening. Thank you to the new subscribers and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to take it one day at a time and keep it simple, my friends. Bye for now.